Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to create a survey in Mentimeter. It's actually quick and easy and quite interactive. So without further ado, let's climb in. So to begin creating your survey in Mentimeter, we are going down to the bottom over here and you'll see the new Menti option. We're going to click on this. It'll open up a new presentation. Now within this presentation, we can start building our questions to create our survey. So the first thing is we either have the option to start from scratch, we can use a template, and then we can also import slides from various platforms. We want to go for now and say start from scratch. Now, creating a survey, you can pretty much use any option and ask any types of questions, and you can ask them in different ways. The first way I'm going to ask a question and create my survey is right over here. We're going to ask a question. What is your full name? You'll see over here, all the responses that are shown will be shown right over here. You can either have it in the speech bubbles or you can have it in the flowing grid. All right. So once this is done, you can also unselect the multiple response per person because, of course, we only want one. And then we also want to keep on the show responses live and we are going to leave this just as is. Now, this is fantastic. And this is our very first slide. So on the left, we're going to now click on new slide. And here we can start asking questions. So let's say multiple choice. Let's say, for example, we want to ask, where do you live? And if you click on this section over here, you can add multiple choice options. So let's go to the right hand side and we can present this as a bar chart, a donut, a pie chart, and then dots. So let's keep it as is in our bar chart. And we can also show the response as percentage. And then just over here, you can add your options in. So let's go and add them in. If you'd like to add additional options here, you can go ahead and click on this add option. And then, of course, we don't want to have a correct or an incorrect answer. So we're going to leave this unselected and then also the select multiple options. We want to make sure that this is also off. We can now go over to the left hand side and we can click on the new slide. Now, once you've clicked on new slide, we can create another question within our survey. One of the other things that I like to use, depending, of course, on what your survey involves, we can click on this scales. Now, this scales basically allows you to ask a question such as rate the following about your country. So that's one question and we can add different statements and these statements could be answered within a slide style. So on the right hand side, once you've clicked on this uh, section over here, we're going to go and you can see there's options. So there are the statements that you can add in. So let's add some statements. Again, there is the add statement option, which means you can add as many options here as you'd like. Also, there is the line color. You can show the statement average and then also statements can be skipped. Let's turn that off. Let's leave the live responses on and then you can start to define how this actually works. So your dimensions. So the bottom of the scale, which would be right on the left, would be the least amount or the least valuable and then the top of the scale which would be this section over here is the most of the scale you can also add a mid value over here and then you can change the value so let's leave that at one and let's put this up to 10 okay so it's a one or a 10 and then you can click in here and let's change what it says so as you can see here one would represent nothing special and 10 would represent amazing. Now there's one last step. Of course, once you have completely gone through your entire survey and created all the slides or questions that you would like to put, and we're going to look for the settings icon. Now this can be seen on the top left. It's a little gear icon and let's click on this. Right over here, you're going to change the type of Menti from presentation to survey. 
And just like that, your participants can go through the mentee at their own space. Let's close this on the right hand side. On the top of the screen, you'll see the preview icon, which is an eyeball. And let's click on this to see what it looks like. So right from here, the preview window, you'll be able to now see two things. On the left, your presenter screen. This is what you can see. And on the right hand side, you will see the audience screen. Now, this is what they will actually see when they're receiving the survey. So you can also see that it is interactive. So it says, what is your full name? And we are going to just type in our full name. Let's click on submit. Then we come to the second question, which is, where do you live? And we are going to choose our option and click on submit. And then we can rate the following about our country. So the scenery, 10 out of 10, food, 8 out of 10, and the culture, 4 out of 10. We can now go and click on submit. And that's what it will look like. You can also use test responses. So if you go just to the top and toggle the switch on, you'll see this is what it'll actually look like as there are more participants. Let's exit this. And there's a number of ways you can share this now. Once you're back in your editor screen or your main screen, you'll see a few options. Up at the top, there's a share button. So let's click on the share button. And here you can enable participation. So anyone with the link, um, the voting code, or the QR code can join and interact with your mentee. If you want to have this private, then you can just toggle this off. Then you have a participation link, which you can copy and you can send to ever you want to have participate. You can also use the QR code and then you can have an access code expiration, which the access code is this code right over here. And you can choose how long it stays active before it expires. Once you're done, you can share that. You can click on present and you are ready to send out your survey.